Today, on the woodyard, I got a delivery for oak firewood. Here we go. Yes, I am a little bit nuts, and I'm okay with that. So I'm up on one of my piles of oak right here, bins. It's full, and there's another one of oak right there, and this one over here is mixed hardwood. I was just up here kind of checking it out, and I thought, well, that's a good place to start a video. So I climbed on up and uh, kind of checking it out. Um, this is all um, a mix of red oak and white oak and bur oak. So it's all oak, and this is going to a uh, customer that buys a half of a face cord from me about three or four times a year. He does events. He's got a big uh, smoker. He's going to be starting a new business with a buddy of his where they're going to be doing um, quite a few uh, location type gigs, and they're going to have a location where they're going to sell stuff from. So kind of a new business. Now, all he wants is a half of a face cord. That's all he's got room for right now, he said. And uh, this is not normal that I would deliver that amount. Normally, uh, one face cord or one third of a cord is my minimum. But he's always come and picked it up in the past. This is probably a fifth or sixth time he's bought from me. And twice I've delivered to him where he bought uh, face cord and I delivered it out to an area where he was doing an event. Normally I wouldn't do just a half of a face cord or a sixth of a cord. He's a good customer and he's trying to get a business going so I'm trying to help him out. So we're going to load up uh, a sixth of a full cord or a half of a face cord right now into the truck there it is and we're going to go deliver it and then after that going to show you something that some of you have asked me about uh, i'm going to be going to a show with uh, my old best friend tony we're going to be heading up to uh, the logging show in escanaba and we're going to be taking my camper it's actually a cargo trailer that i converted into a camper so i'm going to show you that a little bit later so i gotta chuck some wood right now So there it is, a sixth of a full cord, or one half of a face cord, or one half of a rick, however you like to say it. There it is, it's in, and a lot of people might ask, well, how do I know how much wood is in there? Because I know, I've done this a lot, and I know how much wood is in there. If I had this level full, right to the top, just level, but full, loose wood thrown in, is a third of a quarter of face cord and this is just a little more than half of that so it's going to get a little extra because i don't have to stack anymore i do everything in these bins it saves me tons and tons and tons of time so for me it's worth it just to give them a little bit extra and everybody's happy i'm happy they're happy i have more time so we're going to go deliver this right now because this is an old converted propane tank. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's about a 500 gallon, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah, that's a monster. So there's this big tank. Heavy, heavy doors. Man, that is a beast. And it's welded right onto the trailer down there. So pretty cool. All right, back we go. Okay, I have got my delivery done. I just hooked up the trailer. You can see here, we uh, put a rack here so we could put propane tanks and we plumbed it in on this end here. So we got gas going inside. We've got a gas furnace and it's a uh, vented one. Uh, on the back, we put brand new tail lights on. We have a lock on the back and it's got a, a back that drops down. I'll show you that if it just doesn't rain at all. I'm gonna take you inside here. We put a lock on the outside so we can lock everything in because all we had for lock was this little guy here. So we have this uh, bolted right through to the other side. So when we're away, we can have it bolted. It does have a catch over on this side here so we can uh, hold the door open. Um, we put in two windows. Just small little guys. There's this one right here. And then we put one right over here so we can get some flow. And then we do have a little bitty fan that we can hang up right here, right in front of the window so we can blow fresh air in, which is kind of nice. Here is our furnace, it's an Ashley. This is big enough to uh, heat a room that is 20 by 24. Um, this is a seven by 16 trailer. So basically the uh, pilot light is about enough to heat up most of the time maybe just a little bit of heat turned on we put a countertop in across the angle here because it goes from uh, that side of the door over to here so we did it at an angle so it's kind of out of the way because we can still use this whole camper as a utility trailer for hauling which i just did i just moved my son um, a couple weeks ago 
uh, the bunks I just put in and they are removable. So this one up here is a twin. So it's, I think, 36 by 54. No, 75. So 75 by uh, 34, 36, 38, something like that. And then this one is 52 wide. It's a full size by the 75. And like I said, the bunks come right out of there. They're just, these just drop right in there. I do have them held with a screw on each side, but when I want to use these for moving, I just unscrew it. We lift it out, take them out, and then this is all wide open. Made some shelves right here so we can put stuff in so it can stay in there without sliding around. Uh, we have LED lights. We've got power run all the way along through this edge here. So the LED lights, I'll plug that in just a little bit and show you that. Like I said, we got a countertop over here. We've got a sink that drains out. We don't have running water. What we do is we just fill this Coleman jug up and then we run water from there. We've got a DVD player, TV that pivots out. This whole thing pivots out. It's on our arm so you could lay in bed and watch movies. And uh, we've got a gas stove right here. And then we're going to put a microwave right up here. We just don't have that yet. We had one, but it was a big old clunky one. So we got rid of that. And then we've got carpet that uh, we put in. And then we put in um, the extra carpet we had. We cut into squares. So there's carpet on top of carpet here, which helps with insulation and makes it nice and quiet and everything in here. We've got storage underneath so we can store um, all kinds of stuff. We've got an extra cot. We've got a table. We've got chairs. We store all that in the spare tire. All that's stored underneath the bunk right there. And uh, so that works really good. Uh, the horns are here for hangers. These are all screwed in so we can hang socks and shoes and boots and stuff. So we can hang it up if it's wet to dry. So it works pretty good. So um, the trailer we bought last year, we paid $4,500 for the trailer. It is a double axle um, cargo trailer. Like I said, it's got the drop door. Rain is coming. Hopefully get this done before it starts pouring on me. And like I said, this is the whole door drops down so we can access right into the back here. One of the axles is brand new because uh, somebody bent it. Um, and that's why they got rid of it. They had to repair it and they wanted to just get a new trailer. So uh, brand new, this trailer sells for like around 13, 12 or 13, something like that, thousand. We got it for 4,500 and then we stuck about 4,000 into it with everything that we did. Um, the furnace was, I forget, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, the stove was a couple hundred bucks. Countertop, a hundred bucks. Carpeting, a couple hundred bucks. The bunks, oh, everything's all insulated. We took all the sides down. I forgot to mention that. We took all of this trim off. We popped it all off and then we un unbolted, unscrewed all of this uh, Blandex that's on here and we insulated the whole trailer top and bottom. There's two inches up on top and there is an uh, inch and a half on the sides. And we camp in here in November and December, and it's toasty, toasty warm. I, I think we could easily go all winter if you had to. And then we've got electricity. Like I said, it comes in from the outside, so we got a plug out there. This goes outside, and we can plug into a generator. And then we've got our, our pack here, our, our Vodoman that we can plug in, and we can uh, have power inside without having to have the generator. So pretty nice. Mm -hmm.